Let's pray before we begin. Lord please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask, Amen. The First Book of the Chronicles Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jered, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer and Magog and Madai and Javan and Tubal and Meshech and Tyrus. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz and Riphath and Togarmah. And the sons of Javan, Elisha and Tarshish, Kittim and Dodanim. The sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim, Put and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba and Havilah and Sabta and Rayama and Sabtika. And the sons of Rayama, Sheba and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be mighty upon the earth. And Mizraim begat Ludim and Anamim and Lehabim and Naphtuhim and Pathrusim and Kesluhim, of whom came the Philistines, and Kaphthorim. And Canaan begat Zidon his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite also, and the Amorite and the Girgashite, and the Hivite and the Archite and the Sinite and the Arvadite and the Zemarite and the Hamathite. The sons of Shem, Elam and Asher and Arphaxad and Lud and Aram and Uz and Hull and Gether and Meshech. And Arphaxad begat Shelah, and Shelah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Almodad and Sheleph and Hazar Maveth and Jira. Hadoram also, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Ebal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. Shem, Arphaxad, Shelah, Eber, Peleg, Reu, Serug, Nahor, Tira, Abram. The same is Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth. Then Kedar and Adbeel and Mibsam, Mishma and Duma, Massa, Hadad and Tema, Jeta, Naphish and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, she bears Zimran and Jokshan and Medan and Midian and Ishbak and Shua. And the sons of Jokshan, Sheba and Dedan. And the sons of Midian, Ephah and Ephah and Henoch and Abida and Eldea. All these are the sons of Keturah. And Abraham begat Isaac. The sons of Isaac, Esau and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel and Jeish and Jaalam and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman and Omar, Zephi and Gatam, Kenaz and Timnah and Amalek. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. And the sons of Seir, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Ana, and Dishon, and Ezer, and Dishan. And the sons of Lotan, Horai, and Homam. And Timnah was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Alian, and Manahath, and Ebal, Shephi, and Onam. And the sons of Zibion, Aya, and Ana. The sons of Ana, Dishon and the sons of Dishon, Amram, and Eshban, and Ithran, and Kiran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Jachin. The sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aaron. Now these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Dinhaba. And when Bela was dead, Jobab the son of Zerah of Bozrah reigned in his stead. And when Jobab was dead, Husham of the land of the Temanites reigned in his stead. And when Husham was dead, Hadad the son of Bedad, which smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was Avith. And when Hadad was dead, Samla of Masrika reigned in his stead. And when Samla was dead, Sheol of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And when Sheol was dead, Baalhanan the son of Akbor reigned in his stead. 
And when Baal Hanan was dead, Hadad reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Pei. And his wife's name was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mazahab. Hadad died also. And the dukes of Edom were Duke Timna, Duke Alia, Duke Jetheth, Duke Aholibama, Duke Ela, Duke Pinon, Duke Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke Mibzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These are the dukes of Edom. Matthew Henry Commentary on First Chronicles Chapter 1 The books of Chronicles are, in a great measure, repetitions of what is in the books of Samuel and of the kings, yet there are some excellent useful things in them which we find not elsewhere. The first book traces the rise of the Jewish people from Adam, and afterward gives an account of the reign of David. In the second book the narrative is continued, and relates the progress and end of the kingdom of Judah, also it notices the return of the Jews from the Babylonish captivity. Jerome says, that whoever supposes himself to have knowledge of the scriptures without being acquainted with the books of Chronicles, deceives himself. Historical facts passed over elsewhere, names, and the connection of passages are to be found here, and many questions concerning the gospel are explained. Verses 1-27 to This chapter, and many that follow, repeat the genealogies, or lists of fathers and children in the Bible history, and put them together, with many added. When compared with other places, there are some differences found, yet we must not therefore stumble at the word, but bless God that the things necessary to salvation are plain enough. The original of the Jewish nation is here traced from the first man that God created, and is thereby distinguished from the obscure, fabulous, and absurd origins assigned to other nations. But the nations now are also mingled with one another, that no one nation, nor the greatest part of any, is descended entirely from any of one nation. Nor the greatest part of any, is descended entirely from any of these fountains. Only this we are sure of, that God has created of one blood all nations of men, they are all descended from one Adam, one Noah. Have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? Malachi 2 verse 10 Verses 28 to 54 The genealogy is from hence confined to the posterity of Abraham. Let us take occasion from reading these lists of names, to think of the multitudes that have gone through this world, have done their parts in it, and then quitted it. As one generation, even of sinful men, passes away, another comes. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4 and Numbers 32 verse 14, and will do so while the earth remains. Short is our passage through time into eternity. May we be distinguished as the Lord's people. Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.